Oop, let me fix my camera. Hey, Hoopers. One second. I was running around. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> All right. Hey, Hoopers. I'm Kaylee. Welcome to our 45 minute hoop dance fitness class tonight. So happy you could join us. Before we get started, let's just go over a few safety reminders. Modify any moves if you need to. Pause and rewatch the video. Take a break when needed. Remember to hydrate, feel the flow, and have fun. All right, let's get into it tonight. So tonight's class is the same format as all our classes. We're going to start with a warm up, move into waist hooping, hoop fitness, hoop dance, and hoopography, <laughs> and end with a cool down. A lot to get through. So. I'm going to start with my standard hoop. It's about a pound and a half, goes right up to my belly button, 38 inches. And we're gonna start with a off body warm up. So hold the hoop in the center, hands on the ooh, outside of the hoop. And we're just gonna drive our arms up and down here. Great job. All right, let's take that hoop, drive it around our waist, and we're gonna turn, twist, and raise the hoop above our head, alternating sides. I'm excited to share with you our class tonight. We have a few new moves in our hoop dance section. I think you're gonna like them. All right, give me two more both sides <laughs> all right let's just twist at the waist holding the hoop right around our waist twisting side to side just really warming up our core here meet me in the center let's take that hoop flip it off front and we're just gonna pulse forward driving our arms away from our body and then pulling them back hoop is framing the upper body Nice controlled motion here. Let's raise that hoop up above the head and we're gonna drive to the side, back to the center. Side, center. Great job. Two more. One and two. All right, let's go for a few hoop jacks. So holding the hoop around our waist, low impact, raising up, stepping out each foot, high impact, going for it. Let's go in three, two, one. Just wanna get our heart rate up a little bit. Try to keep that hoop nice and even when you raise it up and down. Oop, <laughs> a little off balance there. Wait, I still am. Here we go. <laughs> as long as we're moving, movement is the key. I'll be hanging out for a Q&A after class if you have any questions about anything we go over tonight or hooping in general. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's hold the hoop around our waist and just drive our heels to our glutes. So I'm just pulling we're pulling our heels right to our glutes here. Nice, powerful motion, activating our quads. A few more here and we'll be ready to go. All right, feeling nice and warm. How about you? Let's get into waist stooping. So we're gonna start one foot in front of the other forward stance. Weight is in the heels, hoop is on the lower back, wind up, give it a very big swing, and we're gonna start pulsing front to back. So the motion we're making here is a little front to back pulsing right from your core. Okay, we're not moving in a big exaggerated motion, just a nice little pulse, keeping our hands out of the way. You can do whatever you want with them here. And we're just shifting our weight front to back. So the motion, if you're new to waist stooping or practicing, the motion is like you are tapping your foot. 
okay? So you stand like this, one foot in front of the other, just hold your hoop and pick up your foot and tap it. So my heel's staying on the ground, I'm just tapping my foot. That is essentially the movement we are making here. We're just keeping our feet glued to the ground. So our feet are not moving unless we're turning with our hoop, then we can pick up our feet and move. But we want to also make sure that our posture is in alignment here. So core is tight, shoulders back and down, nice and neutral. Spine is straight. I like to pretend there's a string on the top of my head and just pulling me up towards the ceiling, nice and long. And we're just pulsing front to back. That's all there is to it. So this is one stance, forward stance. If we, let's do it together, pick up our foot and place it right next to our other one, just about hip width apart, side to side. So this is a side to side stance. And again, most important thing, we are keeping our core tight here and we are pushing side to side. So that pulsing is going outward now, as opposed to here, front to back. All right. So let's rock it here for a few seconds. One way to save your hoop, you will see me do it all class, <laughs> is to turn in the way your hoop is going. So my hoop is going to the left. We're going to turn to the left. Just pick up our feet, step in small circles, come right back to center. That will drive your hoop upward if it is falling down. Another way to save it is to just pulse faster, harder. So if you're going side to side or front to back, doesn't matter, just speed it up and tighten the core. All right, so if you feel it falling past your hip bones here, speed it up and you'll feel the hoop start to rise. If you start pulsing faster while the hoop is on your waist and it's not falling down, you'll feel it rise up to your chest. All right, so that's one way to get the hoop up the core. Just do push faster, harder while keeping the core tight. And of course, keeping your breathing going. I know it's a lot to think about, <laughs> but trust me, after a while it becomes natural. All right. So side to side, front to back, this is side to side. Next, we're going to catch our hoop. And to do that, we're going to bring our hands behind. Ready? So one, two. So I'm catching, my hoop's going to the left, catching with my left hand first. One, two. If I do it quick, it looks like I'm doing it all at the same time, right? But not really. One, two, catch. Now let's toss that hoop back in the opposite direction. So now we're hooping to the right, well, whichever, the opposite of what you were doing before. For me, it's the right. All right, and one side's gonna always be harder than the other. We wanna practice working both sides here. So whatever stands you're most comfortable in, let's just rock it here. We'll go for 30 seconds. Keep that breath going, core tight. Back's nice and long. We can bring our arms up to the side. Could help you feel a bit more grounded. Maybe up high, you feel more grounded here. Let's rock it here in the center. Whatever you are feeling. Five, four, let's catch it on two and one. Catch. Great job. All right, let's toss that hoop back in our dominant direction. And now we're gonna go for a little footwork. All right. So we are going to pick up our feet. We're gonna place our feet slightly next to each other, maybe like four inches apart. And you're gonna feel this is a little bit harder than front to back and side to side. And we're gonna practice tapping. So tap, tap, just alternating foot, tapping out. We'll go in three, two, one, let's go. Just picking up one foot, tapping, bringing it right back. You may find you'll have to move pulse faster. And just focus on keeping your body in alignment here. Pulsing, core is tight. We're gonna get through this. <laughs> it's about progress, not perfection. So if the hoop falls to the ground, no worries. Just pick it up and keep moving. We just want some kind of movement here. Great job. All right, let's grab that hoop in. Five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. All right, now you guessed it. We are going to waist hoop and tap out to the side. All right, let's get that hoop spinning. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Just 
picking our foot up, tapping to the side. I find when I'm concentrating, like I am now, my hands might go in weird places, but that just means we're really working hard at it. <laughs> you want to make sure you're stabilized on your foot, the opposite foot before you pick it up. So here, stabilize, tap. You can go up on the ball of your foot here, maybe. Just make sure we're not flailing all over the place. We're in control, okay, of our movements. And let's grab that hoop in. Five, four, three, two. Great job. Woo. All right. Now, grab a sip of water. <laughs> I am getting thirsty tonight. All right. Just a few more on our waist here, then we're rocking right on to hoop fitness. So when you're ready, let's get our hoop spinning around our waist. And we're gonna combine. So we're gonna go front, same foot, out to the side. Switch feet, front, side. Let's go in, five, four, three, two, one. Front, front. Take your time with this one. There's no competition, no rush. You wanna focus on stabilizing our whole body. It may help if you put your arms out. All right. Just keeping our core tight, our back is straight. Great job. And let's grab our hoop in. Five, four, three, give me one more. One, rest. Beautiful. All right, and we're gonna go again. So now we're gonna work our arms a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go 30 seconds of each move. I'm gonna demo the move first. Keep that hoop rocking around your waist. First move is arm pulses. So we're gonna pulse our arms up and down. Just like a V, we're going to, from V shape here to L, all right, or I, <laughs> whatever letter you choose. We're just not bringing our hands together. All right, so let's go in. Three, two, one, V, L, V, L. Keep it rocking. Try to keep your shoulders back and down. We're not hunching up here, back and down. And just pulsing our arms out. Only 30 seconds. See if you can go a little faster. You got this. Keep pulsing. Slow it down a little. Great job. Five, four, catch that hoop in two, one. All right, moving right on to our next waist hooping move using our arms. So we're gonna go T arms, arms out to the side, pull them in for a T, side, T, side. You got it? All right, let's go in. Five, four, three, two, one. Pull them in and out, in, out, in, out. Great job. You may feel that your shoulders are starting to burn a little. Mine are. <laughs> That's totally natural, totally okay. Just from holding our arms up here. Hooping is a total body workout. Just keep it rocking. Four, five, four, three, two. Grab that hoop, one, rest. All right, one more move. And we're moving on to our hoop fitness circuit. So let's get that hoop rocking around our waist. One more time, 30 seconds. This time we are going four. So we're gonna bring our arms out to the side, palms face down, turn them up to the sky, back down to the ground. All right, let's go in. Five, four, three, two, one. Palms down to the ground, flip them up to the sky. Ground, sky, ground, sky. Pick up our speed a little, make sure our shoulders are nice and neutral. Keep that breath going. You're doing awesome here. You have a nice long arm stretch after this. 
five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Grab a sip of water, moving right through, hoop fitness. All right, so hoop fitness tonight, we're doing four moves, um, three rounds, 20 seconds each, that's it. All right, so first, um, first two, first three, four moves no first three moves actually all the moves <laughs> we are using our hoop off body so it's not going to be on our body that's why we did such a long waist hooping second um segment <laughs> if i can talk here so first move i'm going to demo it for you hoop is out in front and we're just resting our arms on it here and we're going to go for side leg lifts all right we're going to go one side two times the other side two times Let's go in, three, two, one. Whatever leg you want here. And we're just lifting our leg, driving it away from our body and back to neutral position. Using our hoop as a prop, just keep our balance here. Squeezing that glute out to the side and back to the center. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, next round, we are doing the opposite leg. Let's go in, five, four, three, two, one. Leg lifts, other leg. And this can look, this can look like different for like mine. I'm going high, you can go low. It's gonna look different for everybody. Just do what you're comfortable with here. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, back to the other side. In five, four, three, two, one, let's go. So it's driving that leg away from your body, squeezing that glute to bring it out and bring it back in. Just a little unilateral work here. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. This is a burner. <laughs> My glutes are on fire right now. All right, other side, five, four, three, two, one. Last round of side kicks or side lifts. And we're also working on balance and control in this move. We're controlling the motion out and in. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, next move, back kick. So hoop is in the same position, standing nice and tall, nice and upright, and we're just kicking back, same leg. Let's go in, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze the glute, kick the heel back. Make sure your hips are neutral here. So we're not extending this way. You can place your hand on your hip if you need to. One hand on the hoop. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, let's go for the other side. In five, four, three, two, one, let's go. So we're just squeezing that glute up and back, pushing our heel, driving it backwards and bringing it right back to the center. Five, four, three, two, one, switch. Flying right through this fitness guys, and then on to dance. All right, let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, I'm losing my balance and rest. <laughs> That's how you know, getting tired. All right, last round, are you ready? Five, four, three, 
two, one, kick back. If you do feel like you're getting tired and losing your balance, be sure to pause here instead of just floating your leg. Pause on the ground, push back. Pause on the ground, push back. And that will help you there with form as I lose my balance. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and rest. 20 seconds, grab some water if you need it. All right, almost through. Next one, ab twist. Hold the hoop out in front, twist to the side, center, side, center. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So side, center, really use your core here. Keep it nice and tight to drive back to the center. And make sure you're pausing here and you're not just doing one fluid motion. We want it to control moves. So here, here, okay? Kind of almost like a Russian twist, but we're standing. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Beautiful. All right, next move, a little different. So we're gonna, I call this um, wood chop. <laughs> so hoop is out to the side diagonal. We're gonna chop down and up, down and up. Keeping our hips open here. All right, let's go in. Five, four, three, two, one. So here we're chopping it down to the other opposite side and back up. Down, up, keeping your hoop, your hips open and your feet glued to the ground. Five, four, three, two, rest. All right, back to ab twist. How you feeling? All right, let's go in. Five, four, three, two, one. So twist, twist, pull back to center, pause, opposite side. Hoop frames, upper body. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, back to wood choppers. We're doing the opposite side. So whatever side you weren't doing before, let's go in. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive that hoop down and up, down, up. Make sure to keep your shoulders level here. So we're not scrunching them up up top. Nice back and down. Great job. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, last move of the night, tricep dips. So we're going to place our hands above our head on the inside of the hoop. Dip down and up, two hands. Let's go in, five, four, three, two, one. Keep those elbows right by your ears. Biceps by your ear, ears, the elbows right above. And we're just dipping down, pushing back up. Down, up. Your hoop may feel a little wobbly and that's okay. We just wanna make sure we're getting this nice stretch back in our triceps and then pushing it back upwards. All right, five, four, three, two, one, rest. We could twist it out here if we want to keep moving, just keep our heart rate up a little bit. And get ready. We're going to go single arm this time. So whichever arm, pick a side. In five, four, three, two, one. Dip down, push up. Same concept here. Firm grab on the hoop. Bicep stays right by your ear. And we're just feeling for a nice stretch in our tricep and pushing it back up towards the sky. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, next round, we're going for the opposite arm. Let's go in. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. 
You can keep your arm, your other arm right by your side or put it on your hips. Whatever you feel comfortable doing in this move. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Last round is coming up. We're gonna go again. We're gonna go both arms. All right. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Last round of tricep dips. Just letting that hoop drop down, pushing up. Five, four, three, two, rest. Amazing. All right, I'm moving right on through to hoop dance. Grab some water. I'm gonna change my hoops out, just a little bit lighter hoop. All right, on to hoop dance, here we go. So we have two new moves tonight. I'll demo them first. One is lasso into bow. All right, so we're just bowing forward with our hoop. The second move we're going to learn is a pretty simple move. It's called a smear. So similar to an orbit, but you're holding your hoop around your body and we're just turning it out here. And we're gonna go a smear into orbit. All right, so let's start with the lasso into bow, all right? First, we're going to start with our hand out to the side. We're gonna drive our hoop in our hand up above our head, open our hand into the L shape, right into lasso. Hand is pushing front to back. Let me just show you if this is a new move for you. So out to the side, we're gonna drive our hoop up above our head. When we do that, our thumb is gonna be a transfer. So thumb, four fingers shoot through, four fingers point up to the sky, thumb is out to the side. All right, so let me show you again from behind. Hoop is out to the side, okay? Drive up, when we get about here, see how our thumb is hooked around our hoop here? We're gonna open up our hand. The hoop's gonna spin around our thumb one time, shoot our four fingers up to the sky. And we're just pulsing our hand front to back. All right, if you're new to this trick, I encourage you to practice right in front of your body. It's just a little bit easier, a little bit more controlled as you can see what you're doing, okay? So this is just a hand spin. So from here, we're gonna squeeze, drive our hand and our hoop upward, open up, four fingers shooting out thumb here, your thumb here is pointed up to the sky, but when you go up above, it's gonna be in an opposite plane. All right, but this is the same motion. So here it is, lasso, all right, and then into a bow. So to start the bow, we're going to close our hand and drive forward with our hoop spinning and kind of just let it roll right in front of our body, like so. And when I say grab, it's not a firm grab, it's a loose grab, okay? So we're just kind of cupping our hoop here, letting it open up right in front of us, following the motion of our hoop and driving right back above our head into lasso, lasso, okay? So when I feel my hoop spinning, I'm gonna grab it out, pull it out in front, drive it right back above my head. Now, when I cup my hoop, I like to and I'll come in and show you. So I like to hook my pointer and my thumb together like so. So it's like this, all right? So even, I guess it's just kind of like a safety risk management thing. So even if, so if I left it open, obviously my hoop can fly all around here if it wanted to, but just by putting my thumb and my pointer finger together, you know, the hoop has nowhere to go and the hoop just kind of rolls right in that little circle, back up into lasso. All right, so that's just a little trick. You don't have to do it that way. You can just cup the hoop if you like, whatever is easier for you. All right, so that's, I'm gonna show you from the side, lasso into bow. So when we do that, we need to, if our hoop is bigger like mine is, we have to be conscious, like moving our body out of the way so it doesn't hit us. But if you have a smaller hoop, you could easily just go out in front without moving. 
All right, so that's the first new trick we broke down tonight. Second trick, smear. So a smear is we're holding the hoop around our waist, hands are on the outside of the hoop, and we're just driving the hoop up and around. So we're just essentially making a really big circle around our body. All right, and we can practice moving our body with the hoop. I'm really exaggerating it here. You can do it in any style, any variety, but we're essentially driving it up and down. Just like it's orbiting your body. All right, this is a fun one to turn with it. So just moving our arms up and down and turning your body at the same time. You can turn in the other direction as well. All right, so we could play around with that. Now, if we want to go smear into orbit, okay, we kind of have to change the directions of our hoop. And now we're bringing the hoop off of our body and turning, okay? So you see how that's different? In a smear, the hoop, we're holding it around our body and we're orbiting the hoop around our actual person. And then in an orbit, we're coming off and orbiting the hoop on the outside of our body. Okay, so smear to transfer. We're gonna flip our arms back and up. So you can do this at any point in this move. Flip and go drive your hoop to the side. So from the back, my hands are in the center in the back. I'm going, so I'm gonna orbit to the left, right? So I'm gonna drive my left hand above my head, other hand comes down by my hip. Then I twist my arms and turn the hoop to right in front. Twist and turn, right hand comes above the head. Twist and turn back to center. All right, so I like to think of it as a box. We do this in our warm ups a lot. If you've been following along, we make the box. Start out slow. So here's the side, here's the front, here's the side, here's the back. All right, and now we're gonna round it out, go a little faster bring in that twisting motion. So this is an orbit. You can also turn in the direction that your hoop is going while you're orbiting. Fun little variation. We can pause and orbit in the reverse direction. And if you have to slow it down, no worries. So again, we're just going in the opposite way. Front, side, back, side, front. A little faster. Awesome, and again, we can turn. Just pick up our feet and step in a small circle. <laughs> cool. Pause, other direction. Great job. Okay, so those were the two um, new moves I had for you tonight. The bow and the smear. We've already touched on lasso and orbit in previous classes. So now we're gonna get into our hoopography, grab some water, and I'm going to demo it for you first. We are running a few minutes over tonight. All right, so if you have to go, no worries. We post all of our workouts to YouTube. You can always check them out there. Link is in the description. All right, so I'm gonna show you this hoopography. We only have five moves in it. Okay, two of them we just learned. <laughs> And we're gonna run through it two times together. The last time you're on your own, feel free to put your own spin on it. All right, so let's get into it. First move, we just learned smear. So we're gonna start with a smear. You can move your body with it too. You can stay standing still. You can turn with it, whatever you're feeling. After smear, you guessed it, <laughs> orbit. So we're just orbiting the hoop around our body. Yes, great job. Now, next move, we are going to drive the hoop down around our waist, plant our feet on the ground. We're gonna raise our hoop up, turn, and bring your arms down with the hoop to your waist. Pause when we get back to center, turn and go up the other direction. All right, so we'll do this a few times. This is called the same spin. So 
So we're just driving our arms down, pausing, driving them back up, turning our body in the reverse direction. All right, so we went smear, orbit, sustained spin. After the sustained spin, we're gonna end, our hoop is up top, okay? And we're gonna flip it forward, like so, all right? And then we're going to drive our body with our hoop up to the sky, reverse. So we're just turning here, raising our hands up above. And we'll do that a few times too. Next, we're gonna end right here, right in front of us. We're gonna kinda, so right here, our hands are on uh, the back side of the hoop, so closest to our body. We're going to pop it up, all right? So by that, I mean, <laughs> not that. <laughs> so pop it up and catch. It might take you a few tries. So from here, we're gonna drive our arms upward, catch, all right? So it's not a fast move. You'll see the hoop flow right in front of you. And when you do, bring your hands right on top and catch. All right, so drive up, catch, turn into passing. So passing just front to back, front, back, palms pointed towards the ground. And final move, we're gonna squeeze, firm, grab, frame upper body drive our hands up and end with a bow. So we're just gonna flip our hoop forward and bow for an amazing job. <laughs> All right, grab some water. We'll run through it one more time together. Last time you were on your own and then we'll head into a little cool down. Again, if anyone has questions, I will be sticking around for a Q&A after class. All right, let's start in five, four, three, two, one with a smear. Again, we can turn it out here. Bring in your own style. Raise it up, orbit. We can like pick up our feet here, get low. <laughs> we could turn with it. Just trying to show you little variations or moves. You can make up your own as well. All right. Next, we're going to plant our foot, drive down, turn and raise that hoop up. Pause, down. We'll go two times. Come up and down. One more time, because we're ending above our head. <laughs> Flipping forward. So flip here. All right, now we're gonna drive the hoop up and turn our body, pause, back in the other direction. Again, we'll go two times. And here, now that little pop transition, so drive your arms up and catch, yes. Turn one time, both hands on the hoop, into passing. Passing variations, you can change direction. All right, you can turn while you pass, you can mix that together. Changing directions and turning. <laughs> you can stay stationary, passing back and forth, all kinds of things we can do here. All right. Now let's bring the hoop right in front, drive over our head, flip forward for a bow to end our amazing hoop dance. <laughs> all right. We're gonna rock through it one more time. This time I am not gonna talk, you are on your own. You can involve any of those variations that you like, make it your own, have fun with it. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one.
and a bow forward. Congratulate yourself. You guys are amazing. So proud of you. Thanks for joining in. Hang in with me just for a few more minutes and we'll just go for a nice little cool down. Today we're not gonna use our hoop, just gonna use our body. So we did a lot of arm work. Let's take one hand out, palm faces away from you. Grab those four fingers and just pull them gently backwards. All right, I just wanna stretch our forearms out here. You can fully extend your arm. You can bring a little bend to your elbow, whatever feels more comfortable for you. And we're just cooling it down. All right, let's switch. Other hand. Just put, pulling those fingers back. Awesome. All right, let's switch. So palm faces towards you. Same thing, pulling the fingers back towards your body. You should feel a really nice stretch in your forearm. often an area we forget with regular other exercise but with hooping it's super important because we are using all these muscles especially with like intricate hand moves all right like the lasso all right let's release and we're gonna raise our hands up above our head grab our wrist place our feet kind of twist our feet there and pull so a really nice side stretch. Come up to center and switch. Just reverse side here. Again, I'll be hanging out for a Q&A after class. If you have any questions, Come back to center. Let's go feet wide and we're just gonna hinge down, hands to the ground if you can. If not, rest them on your shins or your thighs. All right, we just wanna keep a neutral back here. You should feel this in your low back. Let's slowly roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Keep that wide stance. And we're just gonna sit down in one leg to hit the inner thigh here. If you need to, again, you can touch the ground or you can just rest your hand right on your other leg. Let's come back to the center and switch sides. So you should feel this all along your inner thigh really nice stretch especially after our leg and butt kicks today <laughs> come back up to center slowly bring your feet together and let's just cross our arms over our chest again thanks for joining in tonight we have class every tuesday thursday 7 32 8 15 ish <laughs> on facebook live we post all of our classes to our YouTube channel. You can also check them out there. All right. So again, thanks for joining in and I hope to see you next week. Here is our thank you screen. So what you can do next, plan your next workout. Our next one is Tuesday, next Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. You can post a hoop selfie, hashtag hypnotic hoopla to social media. I would love to see it and I'm hanging in for a Q&A afterwards. So stick around if you have any questions, pop them in the comments and I will be more than happy to answer them for you. All right guys, have a great weekend. Bye.